that you son of a whore? Is that how you want to speak about your mother? What are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? The galley's placing in the bed and the free. Who's over you? Farris. What a freaking episode. What in the hell? that Jamie would be the one to somehow... I knew, that, yeah. I don't think that's the way to a boat or whatever. <laughs> he didn't go that way. He went the wrong way. God. Obviously, yes. Oh, my God. In his father's bed. Grab some wine. <laughs> Don't be sorry. That's just pure. I'm going to say it fucked up. Messing up, he's gonna get caught. Maybe he won't last. Oh, shit. Put down the crossbow. Who 
the Middle East too. Uh, your brother and I expect he always has a soft spot for you. No, we go and talk in my chambers. This is how you want to speak to me. Hmm? Shaming your father has always given you pleasure, hasn't All it? my life, you've wanted me dead. Yes, but you refuse to die. I respect that. You can admire it. You fight for what's yours. I never let them execute you. Is that what you fear? I'll never let ill in pain take you ahead. You're a Lannister. You're my son. I loved her. Who? She. Not Matilda. Put down that cross. I murdered her. With my own hands. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. She was a whore. Say that word again. And what? You'll kill your own father in the privy? No. You're my son. Now, enough of this nonsense. I am your son, and you sentenced me to die. You knew I didn't poison Joffrey, but you sentenced me all the same. Why? Enough. We'll go back to my chambers and speak with some dignity. I can't go back there. She's in there. Are you afraid of a dead horse? <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> you shot me. Wow. Take me hours to go through this episode. He's broken, look at him. It's iron. 
did you? Put on your voice. She's on the ship. Tyrion's on the ship. I'm King Lord. Yeah. Where's she going? Uh. I don't know where. Where are they going? The free city of Bravos. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, that's where he said they were but going. Who gave her that coin? You know who gave her that coin. Episode 10. So Arya is headed to Bravos. That ain't all that happened. Tyrion just murdered two people. I'm shocked. This whole episode <laughs> shocked me. Yeah. Uh, oh, so much happened, I don't even know where to start. Tyrion, Shay. Tywin. Tywin. I mean, Tywin's done. Yeah. Bells started ringing. They're gone. Varys is on the ship with Tyrion. Yep. He's and like. I th and I've thought a lot about that. And I don't know if the questions. I'm going to wait, but it's something I'm going to bring up. Okay. So I, I won't say what I want to say. Um, but the Hound is on the side of a mountain, dying. Arya left him for dead. For dead. And he's done. And um, and now she's on a ship, and um, Brian's no where closer to being with her than anything right now. It, it, I mean, how do you she find her? She lost her, and she's already on the boat. So yeah, oh, this episode is crazy. Um, but I'll just go ahead and get into the questions. Yeah, let's get into the questions right. because what I might say might have something to do with that, and I want okay. to address the questions. Right. All wow. Right. What? I don't know. Uh, this is. Got, that was a great episode. Well, there's so much. I know. That went on during this. I mean, we had. Jon Snow. Uh, Stannis. Stannis. Save the day, I guess you well, could call it. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I mean. But here we have so much going on. And then we have Br uh, uh, Bran. Bran. And he's with these uh, things, the children. The children and the three Which I have no idea women. what in the hell they are, but they just came in to play. <laughs> yep. And anyway, you got to see dead coming up out of the ground. Why? A I don't lot. know. But I don't understand why then. You know, My like, guess is that they they were put there to try and stop Bran from getting there. From getting in Oh, there. that's a possibility. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. That's but, my guess, though. You know, it's I, I think there's going to be a lot going on All right. up next season, Ew. but go ahead. Uh, the first question is from David <coughs> Heron, a.k.a. Kenny. David! Kenny! Kenny. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, I, don't, I know who Kenny is. Yeah. Um, all right. He's got a cool tattoo, by he, the way. He does, yeah. Um, okay. For after Varys sneaks Tyrion out of King's Landing... Where does he think? Uh, where do you think they're going? What role would will Tyrion play in the game now that he's basically going to be a fugitive? And does he think Tyrion can trust Varys, or does he have some underhanded scheme in mind involving Tyrion? No. You don't think so? I'm gonna go in reverse order again. Okay. <laughs> uh, Kenny, I don't think Varys has an underlying 
uh, you think agenda. he was just trying to help him? I think he wouldn't. He got on that boat. He, his job was was to get him on the boat. Yeah. And get him out of there. Once he witnessed the fact that Tyrion killed his dad, because he said, "What have you done?" He, he knew he, he did something. He knew, but then when he well, heard the bells, that, that that was kind of his. That yeah, it, he was done. They only ring the bells. Because trust me. Yeah. Not only did he uh, kill his dad, because uh, Jay- Jamie's going to be upset about that. Um, Cersei's going to be upset like no other, and Aren't everyone we? would pay. So they might have said he-, he knew it was time to get out. I don't think there's underlying. I think he had to go. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what role does Tyrion now play in the game since he's going to be well, a fugitive? That, you know, it's on his travel. Where are they going? Yeah, where are and they going? So. This is weird. That was going through my head once Varys joined the boat. Okay. Uh, Varys is, you know, has always been saying stuff about, now hear me out when I say this. Okay. About the dragons, right? Yeah. And about the girl. The, the you know, he knows a lot about what okay she's doing yeah he brings it up at meetings and i mean he's very full fl- knowledgeable about what's going on the only problem is um daenerys you know has her guard up that could be his death too think about it. they sent someone to he's a kill Lannister, her so spy on her kill her he's a lannister that so could be an you, issue so, so you think he could be heading to they could well, him and Varys could be headed to Marine. It could happen, but I don't know where this boat's heading in the first place. But I have a feeling that if Varys has anything to do with it, that's the direction he wants to go. Okay. Okay. Now, on the other hand, I could see uh, Tyrion going to Stannis, too, somehow. Okay. Because... That, that kind of makes sense. He knows about the bastard kid. Yeah. You know, it kind of lines up. He's not going to be turned away necessarily, I don't think. Okay. The Lannisters are hated, and he's grouped into that. Right. But if he says, well, I killed Tywin, that that could change, you know. Yeah, that, that kind of, That kind of, I mean, that kind of ups Stannis at that point. Okay. Now, I want to say something about, about all this, too. Um might come into play when I ask the car say this Cersei is a lot she always wanted to be a part of the, the game of what Jamie did you know or yeah, always yeah. wanted to be involved in everything she's a very smart girl yeah her biggest issue is she's uh, she puts too much emotion into it and she does things that are devastating okay not as smart and diplomatic as Tywin was in doing things with thought, she just does them. Okay. You know, they need to be killed, they're killed. Okay. And she doesn't care who falls in line. Power is power. That's the way she feels. Yeah. Tywin knew that he needed help from this, this, and this. So we don't burn a bridge here. We, You know what I mean? Yeah. He was a very smart guy. Yeah. He's gone. He's dead. This, this changes everything. He was basically in power he let's ran the show it, yeah let's be honest about it he was the one no doubt about it pulling all the strings and he was yeah he was the king be, behind the king but so he was his death has is is going to trigger a snowfall or, i mean just a, a a snowball effect i think but and well, that kind of plays into cory gassaway's question of uh Corey. Tyrion's killing of his father is rather Shakespearean in nature. In fact, Varys, who is one of the most brilliant characters, immediately questions, what have you done? Yep. So, Steve, what impact will Tyrion's actions and the death of Tywin have on the realm? Tyrion and, ultimately, the narrative of the show. That's, I think I kind of let... Yeah. Okay, yeah. so, once... Corey, great question. Yeah. Th- these are things that was popping. I had as I'm watching things are 
like fire little fireworks i kid you not in my head yeah, on, <laughs> and um so i'm thinking oh man he's dead that just i mean like i said cersei becomes taiwan so you think cersei's gonna take control yeah. over everything oh yeah okay and what impact is that gonna she's have? always wanted to be that part she has yeah and like i said the difference is Taiwan was a strategist and a you know a politician. Okay. Burn, she don't care about burning bridges. She'll burn them, and she don't give a. All F. she cares about is protecting her family. Protecting her family and getting ahead. Okay. No one screws with her. You look at her wrong, you die. Yeah. I mean, she's. Wow. She's been the master of this game the whole time. Let's be honest. Other than controlling what she couldn't control um, with her son dying, she, she has yeah. controlled just about every aspect of this, this game. So far, other than Joffrey, she couldn't control him. Well, yeah. Yeah. But he's gone. Yeah. But still, she ran things. <laughs> He'd say one thing, she'd... Nope. Uh, yep. Uh, right? Absolutely, yeah. Corey, great question, man. Yeah, that's a great Love question. Love your questions, by the way. Um, Argus Strav. Argus. For after episode 10, why do you think Arya didn't kill the Hound? And should she have? Should she have put him out of his misery? Because now he's just going to have a long suffering death. Because there's nothing that can save him. Man. He's out in the middle of nowhere. Now, should she have just, like he said, put, her, put him out of his misery? And that kind of is the next question. Um, so you can answer them both from Steve Tipton. Steve. Um, now that Arya has seemingly forgotten where the heart is and not shown mercy to the Hound, how do you see her decision affecting her role going forward? Do you think she removed him from her list? And do you think the things he said to her while he laid there dying, begging for her to end it quickly, made her hate him more? Uh, despite the father-daughter-esque friendship they had developed or and displayed over the season. So. All right, so I'm, I'm thinking in my head, he's laying there, he's on death's edge. Yeah. Um, I don't expect to see him. He's, he's, he looks, you know. Yeah, I mean, he said him, said it himself that unless was, there's a know, maester hiding yeah, behind yeah. a rock somewhere. That was hard for me because yeah, I know I liked I, I know liked that like relationship that. and that just got severed. Um, okay, so back to Arya and how she reacted. Um, why Why I, do you think she didn't show mercy? Because in a way, it is crossed off her list. Okay. Okay. So she didn't kill him because she. This is me saying I crossed you off my list. Yes. You're not and, and, on my list anymore. But it, like I said, she was stone cold, Lacey. She was, yeah. Stone cold. And in no a way, emotion, she's dead. No emotion. She could have shown mercy, but that, you know, showing mercy during a fight or whether it would have been stabbed through the heart through a fight. Yeah. Or something. You know, this was her, you're off, the, I think, okay. off the list and I'm on my way. It, yeah, it's cruel. Because I, I feel that maybe she should have. Now he's got to lay there and suffer till he dies. Yeah. Yeah. But, I, I would. I mean. So was it like a backhanded? Yeah, you're okay. You're off my list now. But it's backhanded because she's also not showing mercy. Yes, that's so it. It's like bingo. Yeah. Okay. So bingo. You said it a lot better than okay. I could have. Okay. I got a lot of stuff going through <laughs> my know. head, guys. So. I know. Um, okay. <coughs> Seeing this the first time. <laughs> shocking. Very shocking. I mean, this seemed like a four hour episode. I kid you not. I rewatch this sometime, guys. <laughs> it seems like a four hour episode. It, There's a lot to this episode, yeah. I, I don't know exactly how long it is, but it's definitely longer than a typical It might be the longest one that I've seen. I think they generally run like right around fifty two, fifty five minutes. Oh, this or something. is five hours. <laughs> Did I answer Argus and Steve's question? Yeah, you did. I think you did. I hope I did. Yeah. If I didn't, I'm sorry. But I think you did. Going back to that, you know, Arya, all I'm going to say is the thing that went through my head the whole time is she is so, she's stone cold 
just ice. I mean, I, I would have... Do you feel like she really is stone cold? Or yes. Do you, okay, okay. Yes. I, I'm just wondering because like of everything, of everything she's been through. It, she has to be. Yeah, that's kind she's, of where I was going. And yeah. she, you know, she's kind of done what she needed to do. When I'm, she was practicing yeah. all the time. I mean, all the time she's getting better and better and better. Now she's got this whole new aspect to her. Think about the things she's building on. Yeah. She's going to be a force. Just wait. All right. We're all waiting. To be able to walk away from the hound like that. Yeah, right. <laughs> After she and just And something. like how she said, uh, he said, you'll never last a day out there on your own. And well, that's she the wrong said, thing to say. And she said, I'll last longer than you. I wanted to laugh, but I, did. I couldn't. Because yeah, you want, it, you want to because you love her saying that, being like. I love the hound. I love the you hound. You love the hound, yeah. And, and oh, the battle. God, I'm sorry. No, that was a brutal battle. That was that, brutal. I mean, he was kicking the crap out of her, and she, I mean, kicking her in the privates. She was biting his ear. I mean, this was this was the craziest one-on-one -on -one scene. I, I mean, it lasted forever. That freaking duel between Brienne and the Hound was brutal. That might be the best pay-per-view ever. <laughs> She was Mike Tyson biting his ear off. He yeah, was, I said that. Yeah, yeah I mean, and spitting it out. Yeah, during the, you know, I mean. Beating him in the face with a rock. The hound's in a bad way right now. Think about that. His freaking neck was hurt. Now he's got an ear bit off, so he probably can't hear out of the ear. Broken leg. That's broken leg, right? Oh, that was a, a, that was a definite compound fracture oh, yeah. sticking through his leg. Yeah. I, I tried to see it better, but I, it, I mean. Yet. I was paying attention to him more so, or what was, I guess, being said. But he, he's in, and he fell off a freaking cliff. And yeah, he's he's broke up. There's not much that can be done for him now, but that's sad because his character was <sighs> yeah. completely. Uh, yeah, I loved the Hound's character too. Shh. I did. Yeah. I thought that'd go on. I know. Um, oh, wow, wow, wow. George R. R. Martin does not care who we like. He will kill everybody. He's some. I'm not <laughs> tell you what. We, we he starts to make us start loving the Hound, especially at the beginning of this season. I wish I could see him face to face and shake his hand. <laughs> like you That'd have be, really that, inspired that, some feelings in me that I didn't know I could have. That yeah. that, that would be amazing. Yeah, that yeah. would be. Um, the last question is by South by South Art. Um, South. Given his current predicament, where do you predict Tyrion's journey is taking him? Do you think he'll make it, or do you think Cersei and Jaime's revenge for the death of Taiwan uh, will catch up to him? Oh, okay. That's yeah. Why you put that at the end. Right. Um, yeah, they're going to be after him, yeah. period. They're He's a put, fugitive. They're going to put a, you know, I don't know so much Jamie, um, but Cersei will put a bounty on his head like the Hound. I, I would imagine. I mean, she's going to be yeah. pissed. Yeah, she's going she to be think, pissed. Well, think about it. She thinks he killed the, the son. She, yep. She definitely thinks that. Now she knows that the whores killed and her dad so guess what and he's gone yep guess who killed him yep. my brother my evil brother her i mean i can only imagine I, I understand that maybe she didn't enjoy her dad and kind of put him in his place in that meeting remember yeah and remember <laughs> uh, put him in his place but it was but, still her father but yeah yeah this is going to take her to levels of nutso yep. nuts no I agree I agree that Can't wait she's to see not her. gonna I... take probably and talk about another actor that's incredibly freaking amazing is, is her Cersei's yeah Lena Headey I is... cannot wait to see her reaction to this Lena I, I want to watch but I, we've like, got work to do yeah uh, he, yeah Lena Headey is an amazing actress. Um, props to you for playing Cersei, somebody that not 
I don't think many actresses could pull that role off. Hell no. Not to the extent that she does. No. She's I'm sure perfect. There, perfect. Sure there is, but for this one, they nailed the they nailed it. Yeah. And uh, also to Charles Dance, oh. who played an amazing. Yeah. He was amazing as Tywin Lannister. Amazing. He did an excellent I, I hate job. to see his character go I, away. Even up to the point when he was sitting on the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's go back to my... You know, I mean, like, I would never kill you. You're, I wouldn't... I wonder if that's true. I wonder if he would have done it. But part of me I says wonder yes. Too. I wonder if he would have... Or was he just saying that because he had a crossbow pointed at him? Or... Was he going to try and figure out a way yeah. to get... Because he is a Lannister. I don't know. I guess we'll never know because well, he's we dead. We won't know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There, there, there comes another one. Yeah. Do you guys think you would have shown mercy? Yeah. What, what do you guys think? Do you think that his intention all along was to try and find a way out of it? Do you think he was speaking the truth there? You know... Or was he just saying that? I got something to say. Okay. During the trial, he made the deal with Jamie. Yeah. To say to, to, to show mercy and send him to the wall. Yep. Okay. I believe that. And then okay. he spoke up out of character and just let loose. And then he, he put Tywin in a, a no-choice situation to sentence him to death. Right? Yeah, I mean, he pretty he had to. I would have moment. killed him myself. I would guess. I mean, yeah, I mean, the things he said was was pretty admitting that he would have murdered you know, murder himself. If he, you know, yeah, can't have that. So he had to do it. So I want. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if his words would have been good, but what he have went back on his his thing and and said, uh, Jamie, I'm still going to live up to my thing and send him to the wall. He. I mean, he had already sentenced him to death, though, after after the mountain and the viper fight. But he could have talked to Tom and said, let's show, you know, stop it. Yeah, maybe. Mercy, you know? I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know the, the rules. King's only of, one, the king's only one. I would one. assume that the king could be like, eh, no. But trial by combat, though, is, I, I don't know. I guess that's pretty set in stone that if you lose, it's from the gods. It's supposed to be. So I don't know. But you guys give your opinions on it. Hmm. Um, do you think that Tywin would have really killed him? Do you think he was speaking the truth in that moment to Tyrion? Or yeah. do you think that he was just saying that because he had a crossbow pointed at him? Uh, what are your thoughts? I'd love to what hear it. What do you it. think? What do I think? I think, I personally think that he was just saying that. I think he was going to kill him. I you think that was his excuse. The one but, thing I've known about Tywin know. was... Usually, if he said something, usually, you know, maybe I think he meant it. Exactly. I don't think it was. I'm not sure, though. I think Tywin's been in that predicament to to work his way out of it and and still mean what he said. Yeah. Such a great character, though. But yeah, I I say he would have let he would have let him live. I don't but know. You're probably right. Let's see. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't know. That's, That's why I'm sitting here we... thinking. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm trying to debate in my head. Like, because he's all about his legacy. You know what I mean? Like. That's what he cares about. It is is his legacy, Jeez. and even if he, Tyrion was an imp and he hated Tyrion, Tyrion could have still given him grandchildren and you know continued on with the legacy. Yeah. So I don't. Ugh, I don't know. I'll have to think on that for a while. I know that he hated him, though, and he was always looking for an excuse to kill him. Even Tyrion said it himself. You've That's... always wanted me dead, and he, you tried... You and know. he didn't deny it. He said, yep. Uh, I did. Yep. And come on. Ugh, we could go on for hours. <laughs> Seriously. Great episode. We could go on for hours with this, especially after this. But we'll continue our discussion in the live stream tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so if you guys a are... Lot to talk about. Yeah, we have a lot to discuss. We have to do the Deadpool yet. We have to do, you know, the predictions for season five. 
Uh, well, you have time now. Yeah. It'll be tomorrow. So, you guys, if you want to continue this discussion with us, come on over to the live stream tomorrow, uh, Saturday, the 23rd, 6, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Go on over to Patreon if you want to be a part of that and join us in our discussion. And, and this will be the last time we get to tell you about it, so uh, I hope to see you there. Yeah, we really do. It's going to be a good time, so... Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching our video. Please like this video. Leave your comments and questions below. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell. And you guys are wonderful. Thank you so much. Hope amazing happens to you. Peace out.